wrestling fans, you are tuned in to CZW Girls Battle of the Sexes. We're about to watch some of the most beautiful women take on some of the most hardcore men in pro wrestling. Let's get right to the action. And fans, we're about to watch Jimmy Lloyd take on Casey Cattell. Now this is literally one of the most explosive matches ever in CZW history. We are watching Battle of the Sexes, and when I say the women of the combat zone are here to compete just as hard as the men, you're about to see what I mean. These ladies are not to be taken lightly. Double H, Double H. Uptown. Uptown. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen, BK. Casey Catal, perhaps one of the most beautiful young ladies I've ever seen, but there is the crown of barbed wire on her head as she also brings a, a staple gun to the ring not to be trifled with this young lady as she enters the combat zone you'll see here we have no ring ropes up just barbed wire and i remind you all barbed wire is an implement <laughs> she's already caught on it <laughs> fans this is not that stuff you watch on monday nights where the barbed wire is made of rubber this is legitimate barbed wire you're about to see legitimate violence here on czw's battle of the sexes And not to be outdone is Jimmy Lloyd, a former Tournament of Death champion. Jimmy Lloyd will tell you you're fucking with a different boy. And right here, we're fucking with Battle of the Sexes. And Jimmy Lloyd makes his way into this barbed wire. No padding on this ring. Notice that contraption. This is going to be an absolute war. Now, we should call this War of the Sexes, not Battle, perhaps. You see, Nick Papa Giorgio, our official in charge. I want to send it down the ringside for our ringside crew and for Larry Legend with the official introduction. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for the introductions. Introducing first, this competitor standing to my left, making her debut here in the combat zone inside of the squared circle of sacrifice. This is Casey And her opponent, standing to my right, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he is a different fucking boy, Jimmy Evan Lloyd! Jimmy Lloyd is right at home, right at home in this environment. Oh yeah, I mean, Jimmy Lloyd has felt this before and Matt, you asked me before what this means to Jimmy Lloyd. This means uh, top dog status to Jimmy Lloyd. Casey Gattal taking it to Jimmy Lloyd early. Super kick, bicycle kick. Oh, the uh, psychology. That's not a rope back there. Oh, what? those are life tubes. God, back oh, yeah. to him by fire. To Brandon Kirk's angel. With the ambiance and atmosphere, it feels like a big Japan match right now. Oh. You can see Casey Catal eating those light tubes. Oh, man. She's trying to, trying to get her face straight. Oh, uh, that face. Got to protect the moneymaker. Jimmy uh, Lloyd just waiting on her to get up. Oh. She's busted open. Oh. Lloyd into the barbed wire. Barely got protected. Pick, picking flesh. Out of that razor sharp barbed wire, Katal with that staple gun to the skull ah. of Jimmy Lloyd. Ah. That ain't no red. And again. That ain't no red swing line, but that one's effective. Oh. We're less than three minutes into the match, and if you're playing deathmatch bingo. Everybody's bleeding. Everyone is bleeding. That's a free space. Yes. Now it's just it, even going in and out of the ring is such a, a change from what Casey Cattall is used to. It, it you're basically you're it's the great escape. You're you're practically you're crawling through barbed wire like you're escaping. Oh, oh. kick to the midsection. Oh, oh no 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 no. Oh. no. Jimmy Lloyd. Right to the scalp. I mean, oh. but you know it's not even going through the 
through you know to the outside of the ring to the you know it's it's taking every step because you don't have that mat underneath you you don't have the canvas underneath you all you got is straight wood every step you take in the squared circle of sacrifice is brand new to somebody who has never been in it before and you have to wonder if fighting on the floor is better for Casey Catal. I mean, you don't have to worry I mean, about uh, running into the barbed wire. There's no barbed wire. You have solid footing, which you wouldn't have inside the Jimmy ring. Jimmy Lloyd. Those wooden Jimmy points. Lloyd sending Catal into the crowd the hard way. Well, her theme song says you should see her in a crowd, and, well, giving the people what they want here in CZW. Jimmy Lloyd yeah. rearranging some furniture. Bad intentions. And while Jimmy Lloyd is setting this up, Matt, you, you touched on a, a, a great point there. Uh, the footing inside the squared circle of sacrifice is not steady. No, 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 no. Oh, oh God. Body slam into the chairs. But, I mean, like, those wooden planks, they move from side to side. Whether it's just an inch or not, it, it doesn't matter. It's still not steady. And also, it's cold inside the Coliseum. It's mm -hmm. late November, early December. That wood is going to warp. It's going to change shape. Look with that chair to the skull. And it's going to harden, too. It's going to be... It's going to be like falling on, on top of a concrete block. Casey Gattall. She's getting back in this thing. He's going to have to incapacitate. He's too comfortable in this environment. Oh. Jimmy Lloyd. Oh. oh. Balling for Catals and comes up short. He got nothing. Nothing but chair. Absolutely. And maybe this will provide an opening for Casey Catal to simply survive. Catal. Checking her nose. She, oh. Referee asking Nick Papa Giorgio, asking Casey Catal if she wants to continue. Uh, you may want to get your coat away from there, sir. Yeah, that's going to get yeah, that's blood a, all over it. That's a oh, dry cleaning Jimmy, bill. Jimmy Lloyd just calling for chairs, Come calling on, for everyone to toss their chairs on the Casey Catal. And you can see, like, Jimmy Lloyd, yeah, he went through the chairs on the cannonball, but Casey Catal, she's not used to this. She, she's, she was unable to capitalize. And Jimmy Lloyd, who's felt this stuff before, he's uh, back in the driver's seat, as it were. It's not looking good. As, oh, they're coming near us. Oh, God. That wasn't a pretty landing for Casey. It was it's not. the hard way. Move, move. We're trying to clear out a space to send Katal, Katal back into the let's ringside just area. Let's just hope they took their holiday card photos already. It's not It's not going to be, oh, what is that? Oh, those Those are wire cutters. Oh, those are, ah! oh no, no. Digging the skin. Jimmy Lloyd driving that barbed wire into the face. You hear the cries of Casey Katal. That's just driving Jimmy Lloyd forward, pushing those barbs into the forehead, into the exposed flesh of Casey Catal, dragging her back into the squared circle of sacrifice. And, and, and you can see when they were rolling into the ring how those wooden boards were moving. That's not a good service to be on. And now listen to Casey Again. Catal screaming in pain. This is, the, this is the first and now second time since she's experiencing barbed wire to the forehead. Yeah, and ordinarily you could rest in that turnbuckle area in the corner. You can't do that in this environment. You can't get rest anywhere here. There is no, there is no neutral ground inside the squared circle None. of sacrifice. got those wire cutters is Jimmy Lloyd. Casey Catal. She's all busted up. Oh, yeah. And she is it's not in a look. Barbed wire just coiling as Jimmy Lloyd cuts it. After abandoning Jimmy Lloyd in a cornfield. After denying him chances at the CZW World Championship. By tossing him into a trunk. What's happening? Boy, this Brandon Kirk, Kirk. I take it he's seen enough of this. Brandon Kirk, the husband of Casey Gattall. And now these two are going to go at it. They can't wait till December 14th. Oh, Patches a single kick, missed it. Big super kick from Lloyd. Lloyd telling everyone to clear house. Shit's about to go down. Oh, my God. Right into the guardrail goes Kirk. 
narrowly avoiding all them chairs. And look at Casey Natal. Oh, into the barbed wire. Casey Natal. Oh. Drop kick into the door, covered in barbed wire. Did not Down. get all of the cover one, one two. two. Two count only. See Brandon Kirk. Destroyer. See a destroyer onto the wood. And you see how those ports shifted. Cover. Come on. Two. Two count only. Driving his head not only to those boards, but shards of light tube. It's Katal. Katal trying to, trying to find her footing here. Looks like she's going to head to the outside of the ring. Call, calling call for something. Oh, oh, no. Those glass panes, those Bringing. glass panels. It was only a matter of time. Of course. Panels and chairs. That air horn lets us know that it is OSHA certified. And not a good position for Jimmy Lloyd right now. Brandon Kirk still getting his wits about him on the outside as Katal getting that sheet of plate glass. Uh, let's be real, Matt. Uh, Jimmy Lloyd will never get his wits about him. That's fair. Absolutely. Yes. That's very fair. You win. <laughs> Brandon Kirk trying to get whatever his wits are about him. Oh, whoa. oh up oh, on his oh, shoulders. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Air raid no, crash. No. Oh, oh, my God. Through the glass. Cover. One, two. Cattell somehow made it out. And that's the thing with this kind of match. Not only do you go through the glass, but you then land on just wood right. and steel underneath it. And that had to be pure adrenaline that kept Casey Catal going, getting the kick out. It was that shot of adrenaline. Couldn't have been anything else. This crowd behind Jimmy Lloyd, and Jimmy Lloyd calling for something, too. Lloyd really feeding off of that energy. A conga line of chaos here inside the squared circle of sacrifice. You got those those wooden beams just shifting it. Oh no! Got more barbed wire coming. It's more like a, wood, more barbed oh. wire. Black Friday sale gone a gone a muck. Well, Jimmy Lloyd directing traffic. Oh, and another let's panel put a painted glass, glass on top. Why not? And Lloyd. Getting those wire cutters, those pliers. And now he's going to cut this side, it looks like. The side may, facing may God us. God bless the imaginative staff here at the CCW yeah. for uh, just bringing that and the glass and saying, here, have this. Team players. Yes. Got to be a team player. Kirk, Kirk getting himself back up, nearly up to a vertical base. Wasn't set to compete tonight, had the night off. He's obviously here in support of his wife. Absolutely. Brandon Kirk now back, back into the, the ring. Shield. Brandon Kirk. Oh, no! God! Head first once again. Oh, shit. That could not have felt good. I saw that happen at a Cro-Mac show. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh! Good God. Just tossing. Without regard, Casey could talk to the outside of the ring. Glass and barbed wire and bad decisions. This will mark Casey Catal for the rest of her life. Jesus Christ. Stand by your man has a whole new man in here tonight in CZW. You want to talk about a ride or die. Her hair, they got to cut her hair out of that thing, it looks like. This is one of them things that she going to remember when she's old and drooling in yeah. retirement home. Talking, about the gr talking to the grandkids about the time yeah, she ain't Jimmy gonna remember nothing. through the <laughs> yeah, She ain't going to remember nothing but falling through that glass and barbed wire and wood and all that. That's, that's something that will stick with you. That's love. That's love. I've never, I've never dated anyone that would take that from me. I've, I've never loved anyone that much. Me neither. I will never love cover. anybody that much. One, oh, cover. Two. two. Oh. You say you will, though. That's the important thing. And somehow Casey Catal is not saying, all right, I'll take a beat. I'll 
I'll take the loss. This woman is a lunatic. And you I don't saw know. the look of surprise across the face of Jimmy Lloyd when Casey kicked out. Casey can talk. A lot of fight. Still left. How is she doing this? This does not look oh, good. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What? Holy shit. The ring just exploded. Jesus Christ. Casey Catal exploded. That's it. She's got to be burned. And she's caught in that barbed wire. Can somebody tell me what the hell just happened? Jesus Christ! Jimmy Lloyd suplex Casey Catal, and then the ring exploded. One, one two, two, two and oh, come on! Breaks it no, 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 no. No, no, no. What is going on here? What is happening? Catal dragging Lloyd on top. No way! Randy, no God. way! Come on! One, two, 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 three! Casey Catal has defeated Jimmy Lloyd in the squared circle of sacrifice. And thanks to our ringside commentary crew, did I lie to you or not, fans, an explosive matchup. We just saw Brandon Kirk save his wife, Casey Catal, from the clutches of defeat. But honestly, I, I don't know if any of these competitors are going to walk out feeling good today. I mean, I think Battle of the Sexes is way too... Look at her face. It's covered in blood. I think that's way too light of a term to describe what we just saw. Casey Catal is victorious here in CZW. And let's keep the action rolling on here at CZW Girls Battle of the Sexes. We've got a barn burner in store for you. You're going to watch the chicks using nasty tactics versus the juicy product. Uh, this is an intergender matchup for the women's tag team titles, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I said it. The women's tag team titles that the juicy product hold right here on CZW Girls. And here they come, making their way towards the ringside area. The chicks using nasty tactics. You can spell it out, fans. I don't have to do that for you. Or maybe I do. I don't know. But, but there they are, Kimberly and Annie Social. Uh, I will say that out of personal experience, I know that Annie Social is one of the toughest young ladies I've ever met. Kimberly, uh, deceptively strong. Uh, I actually remember her training at the CZW Dojo. Um, we used to do 100 squats to start. Kimberly was the only one who didn't flinch. Uh, wow, I'm flinching now. And there they go, the ladies tag team champions, the juicy product, Kevin Dunn, David Starr. These two young men have uh, found their way into women's pro wrestling as well as men's, holding about 20 tag championships around the world, uh, both genders. Um, I don't know if they consider themselves gender fluid or took advantage of a loophole. There is Rick Catalo, their manager as well, the manager of champions, as he likes to be called. Uh, you know, and. <laughs> You know, with that shot, I have not much to say. But fans, I'm going to send this down to ringside momentarily so you can enjoy. Introducing first, in the corner to my right, Helly from Seattle, Washington, and North Philadelphia, respectively. This is the team of Kimberly and any social chicks using nasty tactics. And their opponents, they are the reigning and defending WHU Tag Team Champions. They are seconded by the boy D, Rick Cataldo. First, from Providence, Rhode Island, he is the juice, JT Dunn, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the product, J David Starr. Together they are the juicy product. See, even Maven Bentley is in too much awe of the juicy product. He was going to call him the Jewish Canyon. What? That's his nickname. Oh! Cannon. Mm. I don't know. Now that's a canyon right there. Let's look at the history of this. Let's look back. July last year, the Juicy Product Challenge. Chicks using nasty tactics for the titles. Chicks using after, nasty tactics. After they went through a whole contest. 
You know what? Continue. Cardboard DJ approved it. It happened. The match took place. Juicy Product came out with the titles. September, a rematch took place. The Juicy Product, once again, successfully defending the titles. That evening, against Chicks using nasty tactics. And last time out, in November, singles matches occurred and, you know, teams... The Juicy si Product couldn't hang with the Chicks. They can hang with them. Rick Cotato can hang with them. He can hang with both sides of the coin. There's David Starr now, starting this match off against Annie Social. Annie Social defeated David Starr back in November. Look at that, up and around the world with that arm drag. Cuts him off. There's a, another <laughs> woman that's competed here many times in a 2300 arena while David Starr, this is his first time in this legendary building. I think Annie Social has a little leg up on there. Right now she doesn't. Well, she got the leg up from Rick Cataldo back in September, if you remember. Well, actually, Annie Social and Kimberly both respectively started their careers in this right. building, in academies that were in this 2300 arena. Their careers were made here, and they want to regain those WSTU Tag Team Championships back here in Philadelphia. God, look at Rick Cataldo in the background there. I can't stop. I can't, I can't. Uh oh. This will make me stop. Yes! No! Yes! What a block! That's that, illegal. No, that was, that was a low blow. No, she blocked it. She just put her hands up. She hit motion towards it. Legal. And now there's a legal tag, but JT Dunn in here illegally, I believe. <laughs> Kimberly defeating JT Dunn back in November to help earn this shot. A little bit of a heated rivalry between these two. Kimberly taking out. The juice and then look at Andy oh. Social, a huge clothesline taking sending David Starr up and over to the outside. David Starr Rick. just flew to the outside of the ring with dangerous ten territory with such a dangerous woman like Andy Social. And Rick Cataldo attending to JT Dunn. Oh, well, Andy Social go for that crossbody. Look at the power of the, the Jewish Canyon just placing Andy Social on that guardrail. Dangerously when a man like JT oh, no. Dunn, who likes no. to use that leg drop. No, this is not good. This is not good for any social. Oh, she oh, and now it's not good for JT Dunn, whose hip just collided with the steel. Things could have been a lot worse for JT Dunn, but they're getting worse for the Jewish Cannon as Kimberly takes him out. Tope Suicida by one half of the challengers, sending the legal man back in the ring. And Rick Cataldo looking in on disgust as he sees possibly the WSU championships out of his grasp. Not out of the grass right now, the power. Oh, oh, oh no! Well, that was not pretty at all. David Starr just dangerously chucking her into the turnbuckles. Just dragging her into the middle of the ring. One, two. You know what, you can say whatever you want about the juicy product. What you can't deny about them is, though, in this match, the power advantage is definitely on their side. The endurance advantage, the speed advantage, all that stuff, you can give to either side. That's fine. But just the strength. Does any of that X Factor? Rick Cataldo, who factor. is who is the manager of champions here in WSU. He goes where the gold goes. But right now, Kimberly going down to the mat as David Starr only getting a two count. Kimberly, though, she's got a lot of fight in her. David Starr, though, taking control of her by grabbing the wrist. Watch it. What? Nothing. I was waiting for something further about grabbing and control. Oh. There's control right there. Out of the gutter, Nate. Sandwiching dropkick by the Juicy Product. My mind doesn't go in the gutter, Nate Stein. You can leave yours there. All I want to see is Rick Cataldo have the same kind of celebration that Cherry Bomb did after this matchup, yelling into the camera. Well, we're still not there yet, because you have to go for a pinfall. And Kimberly just being chopped down, but JT Dunn not staying on the attack here. They might be champions, but not for long if he keeps these antics up. These are effective antics. They get in the head of your opponent and they wear them down. I think they're video game characters for crying out loud. Da -da 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 -da. Headbutt, that's an A. Now with a big strike, that'd be the B button. Oh, lady split jawbreaker by Kimberly, but she's got to get to Annie Social. 
Yeah, both, both members of both teams looking. Oh, no. JT Dunn coming in, trying to take oh, Annie Social. Annie Social, though, using her leverage to bring JT to the outside. This, this is a special night for Annie Social. She is not going to be like, oh, come on now. And that's why the Juicy Product are su such an effective tandem. Working together like that. And like this, look at JT Dunn just coming down and stomping the hell out of Kimberly Davis Star there to, be to take advantage of it. Still not it though. Oh no, Rick Cataldo shrieking. Jeez, that's a horrifying sound. I don't mind it. Oh no. Where's the, was that a tooth? I don't know if it was a tooth, but David Starr, though, great ring position and getting right in the tag to JT Dunn, who just yanks Kimberly away. Oh, look at Kimberly. Look, huge tornado DDT. This is the opening Kimberly needs. Cycloning around JT Dunn and driving his skull into the canvas, but she's got to get a hold of Andy Social, bringing in the fresh tag team partner. And there we go, Andy Social tagged in. Oh, pound for pound, the toughest woman in WSU, taking out both members of the Juicy product. Let's just not talk about gender there, about being the toughest. Oh, swinging neck breaker. Got a cover here. One, two, and oh, only a two count. JT Dunn getting that shoulder up just in the nick of time. But Andy Social, though, trying to fire up the crowd momentarily, oh. letting JT Dunn go, and you see that that was a mistake. It was a mistake. Kicking the taste out of both their mouths. Yeah. Both women going catching the feet. Oh, look at that. Double split dropping down JT Dunn. That could be it. Two and three. Oh, only a two count. Annie Social now. Trying to figure out a way to put away the juicy product. If that couldn't do it, she's wondering what else she has to do to do that. JT Dunn bringing Annie Social back to his corner of the ring. Tags in Dave Starr. And now the juicy product have cut off the ring. Annie Social's in their corner. About a dozen Polish hammer. Double axe handle shots by David Starr. Juicy product are just catching their groove in this match, it looks like now. Come on, come on, David! Listen to punt, Annie Social. David Starr, the Jewish Canyon now, just grabbing a hold of her. Oh! Oh, oh split out. But, wait a minute. Oh! oh. Meeting a pair of super kicks. Rick Cataldo is elated. Well, too busy posing and or taunting, as they like to call it, yeah, taunt. rather than going for the cover here. Yeah, taunt. Don't use the white This trash. is the first time posing. these men have been inside the hollow halls of this legendary building, and they're not going for a pinfall right now. They don't need to yet. They got they have both women knocked out. Sounds like something you'd say a lot. They want to make sure that when this match is over, it's over, and that neither one of these women come back for a fight. Oh, no! And there you go. There's the miscommunication between the Juicy product. Rick Cataldo, though, getting up on the ring apron is Annie Social. Evades. Whatever JT done at put Annie Social in with a pump kick. Now the, the Jewish cannon backed up into the corner, being sent to the outside. Kimberly better pay attention as JT Dunn's starting to stir. Kimberly trying another tope oh, no. suicide, but oh, look no. at the strength. This is not going to be good. Look at the strength of Dave Star. Oh, now they're going to try for it again. This time, Kimberly being draped over the guardrail. Oh, no. JT Dunn is on the top rope. This is not going to be good. This is going to kill the poor woman. Oh, no. This is going to kill her. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> he just crushed her ribs, the back of her neck. Any Social's gonna have to go throughout this match alone from this point on. Oh my lord. You're right, this is all Any Social now. Any Social, I think, just realized what had happened and the, the damage that has been done in Dave Starr with his eyes locked on a target with the name of Any Social. What a smug look on his face. But Annie Social, one of the toughest women in WSU. One of the toughest women in Philadelphia, for that matter.
And she is not going to step down to a fight. Oh, she won't back away from a fight with anyone. Especially someone she does hold a victory over. Uh, this could be it. It's a tombstone pile drive. Wait a second. Rolling through it. This could be it. One, two. Oh. He's going through a reversal again. One, two, and oh, kick out. Oh, uh. There's that vicious kick again. From they start just egging her on, asking for it. Now is any social up. <laughs> Blue Thunder style by David Starr. And there he is, not even bothering holding on to the legs. Once again, another mistake. Hey, you can't take her lightly, but I think David Starr is definitely in a much better position physically right now than Andy Social. He's been through a lot less in this matchup. You're right. Oh. Driving his knee into the side of her head. And now David Starr looking to ascend upwards, trying to finish her off for good. And still unconscious somewhere on the floor is Kimberly. Yeah, JT Dunn's not in a much better position either. David Starr taking way too long, and you can see now any social starting to stir. David Starr trying to kick her off. But the fight and the tenacity, oh, oh no, this is not looking good for the Jewish cannon right now. Any social, it must have just dawned on her what she's fighting for, where she's fighting for it. Everything in her career coming to this moment, it looks like. Oh, could it be? Could it be? An action bomb! That it's gotta be it! We gotta cover here! One, two, and no! But JT Dunn saving the championships for the juicy product at the last second. Now he's trying to legalize himself in this match, dragging David Starr to their co his corner and tagging himself in. Now Andy Social still left all alone, this time with JT Dunn, as JT Dunn backs her up into the corner. JT Dunn is a master at those forearm strikes. Andy Social, she's not gonna be outdone. I think those are pretty good forearm strikes. And here comes Kimberly back from the dead. Hey, isn't this illegal, ref? Like, where are you? He's oh, around. Look at the blood pouring from the nose of Kimberly right That's now. not going to stop her, though. That one a chance to regain those titles are at stake. Oh, here it is. This could be it. This could be it. Go for the T gimmick, but JT Dunn gets out of it. Palm thrust sending Kimberly away. Rolling up Andy Social. He's got the tights. But Andy Social is still able to get out of that. Split out X Factor. Oh. oh, more. That is it. One, two, and three. Ladies and gentlemen, here are our winners and the new WSU Tag Team Champions. Any social, Kimberly Team Collins. What a night for any social and Kimberly. You just saw the chicks using nasty tactics on CZW girls re regain their tag team championships versus the juicy product, David Starr, JT Dunn, and look at Kimberly's face. There is nothing here but absolute toughness out of these women. As lovely as they are, they are not here just to be Barbie dolls. They are here to be vicious. And the chicks using nasty tactics yeah, hold high their tag team championship belts. Wow. Just, just a bloody mess, but a champion nonetheless. Fans, I, I don't know where else you're gonna see action like this, but here in CZW Girls, the chicks used the nasty tactics, victorious at Battle of the Sexes for the CZW Ladies Championships. rolling on as we're watching Battle of the Sexes. You're about to see the office hardcore icons, Dan O'Hare, Jimmy Lloyd, Maria Manic, and Mitch Ballin. This is gonna be a eight-man war. And fans, we're getting ready right now for the office to make their way to ringside. Connor Claxton, as seen by the graphic, Brandon Kirk, also seen by the graphic there, Kit Osborne, 
Casey Catal just a, a force of not to be effed with. And here they come, making their way towards the ringside area. Connor with his classic wrench. Kit with um, a lady friend. Casey Gattal, who is Brandon Kirk's lady friend. This is gonna be an explosive matchup, to say the least. Absolutely violent. Eight man tag, or I should say eight person. Allow me to be, oh. I was gonna be politically correct, but it looks like, uh, I don't know what that is hanging out that young lady's shorts, but hey, I, I don't judge. There he is, Brandon Kirk, an ultra-violent icon, to say the least. This will be a true battle. Again, the rules are, there are no rules in this particular combat zone matchup. You see some weapons already in the ring. And Connor just uh, like a dog with a bone, as they say, chewing on that wrench. Whoa, don't lose the girl, kid. I mean, I, I don't know what your personal life is like, but it looks like uh, you really need her, so don't lose her. Fans, this next team, probably not gonna be as much fun in games. I stand corrected. Is that a, a criminal drag queen? I believe it is. A, a, a convict drag queen is making her way towards, and there he is, Deputy Dan. <laughs> Was that Officer Big Skinner, Dan O'Hare, riding into the arena on a tank made of beer cans? This is how, and he's got a beer can bazooka. <laughs> Officer Dan O'Hare, the big scare, they call him, letting this uh, a young lady, is that politically correct? I don't want to misgender the lady. <laughs> but speaking of gender, there goes Maria Manic, Mitch Vallon, and then there's Jimmy Lloyd on the other side. These are some of the most tough people you'll ever see in combat zone wrestling, and I am excited, fans, to see what this matchup has in store. This is gonna be insane. Yeah, you can already tell. There's a, all right, come on. Yeah, yeah it all sucks. Do you consider that to be a big one or a medium worse? I don't know, nor do I really like want to know. I don't know if that, you know what I mean? Hey man, it's 2018, but uh, hey man, just a little dildo talk between a couple of guys. Anyway, Marie, <laughs> we got eight people fighting each other. Brandon Kirk and Jimmy Lloyd. Story history oh. between those two and that structure is already being taken apart. The structure of Sergeant Scare. I, call, I like to call that the White Trash Chariot. The White Trash Chariot. Where the hell is Mitch going with... Oh, man. Oh, what the hell is Mitch going with Casey Cattell? Kid Osborne's got that, that blow-up doll, that doppelganger. all over the places. And they're still bringing more weapons out. Jimmy Lloyd and Connor Claxton fighting it out. Maria Maddock now overpowering it looks like. Brandon Kirk face first into that detour sign. Oh, right across his back goes Maria Maddock. Well, Maria Maddock, she's got to be the, the powerhouse out of all eight individuals, right? Maria Maddock. Maddock's got that staple gun. Maddock's got that staple gun on the skull of Brandon Kirk. your tip. You know, uh, That's the tip. I, yeah. Um, I hope people don't take to that method of tipping people because yeah. I do that. I, I accept tips for a living. Please don't staple money to my head. I do not want that. Oh, man. Well, there's one guy that will be. Anyway. Casey, she just tried to low blow Maria Maddie. Out of all people, really? she should know. Big double toe slam. To the couple, the Brandon Kirk and Casey Catal for Maria Maddock. Maddock, oh, running senton to both. And now Kent Osborne. This is to be continued. That's a, the, that's the thing about Kent Osborne. I mean, usually we see him doing a lot of talking here in the so not a lot of action, but when it comes to 
on the action. Oh, no. He, oh, oh, no. Man. I was going to say, I was gonna say Kid Osborne is a difference maker and can get things done in the ring, but after that Spanish fly off the middle rope, I don't think so. That difference maker is in there with a different boy, Jimmy Lloyd. And Jimmy Lloyd has that baseball bat wrapped in thumbtacks. They both do. And how, how about the pass between these two? That's just about 13 months ago. They went to the square circle and sacrificed against each other. Both men missing. Oh, man. Kirk ate it hard right on his forehead. And make sure you... Uh, oh, that's Jimmy Lloyd. Make sure you check that match out on ccwstudios.com. Or right from Jimmy Lloyd. Here comes, here comes Connor Claxton. Claxton's a mess. He sure is. That didn't take long. Not at all. Connor Claxton attacking the, the back and the ribs of Jimmy Lloyd with that crunch. People love him. Some furniture in the ring. While well, Jimmy Lloyd trying to make his way back to a vertical position. Something much easier said than done at this juncture. Connor Claxton now stapling that Donald Bill to the skull of Jimmy Lloyd. You ever, you ever see that thing on the, on the dollar bills? They say, Where's George? Yeah. And you track dollars. Is it really going to say staple to the head of Connor? Is that a, is that that's a, a television? That's a goddamn television. What the hell? Black Friday was just... I hope he got a good deal on that thing. Oh, yeah. He just slapped money off that man's head. Yeah, he slapped a dollar off his head. I don't like this. This is not... Oh, boy, no. This is going from bad no. to worse. No. No! Oh. God! Pile driver through the television set! Jimmy Lloyd. Cover. Mitch in to break it up. My God. I've never seen anyone pile driven through a TV set. <laughs> what a sentence. What a sentence. Professional wrestling is the best sport in the world. This is the only place you hear that. Yes. Oh. Look at this. It's starting to scare. Here, Deputy Dan, whatever you want to call him. Chair on chair to the skull of Claxton. Man, you want to talk about a history. I'll look up Mitch Vallon and Connor Claxton here in the combat zone. Uh oh, whoa, whoa. Kit Osborne. Osborne taking out Big Scare, but Mitch Vallon's right behind him. I think more people are bleeding in this match than Army at this point. It's great. Oh, Mitch Fallon just ate that shot to the head. He like ate it. nothing. No, oh, man. Yeah! He's mitching oh. up. Oh. That'll get you. That'll get you every time. Oh! Three consecutive shots to the head, and Kid Osborne. Disposes of Mitch Vallon. Meanwhile, Brandon Kirk is completely incapacitated. Big roundhouse to Kid Osborne from Jimmy Lloyd. There's action all over the place here. Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, oh. just for a hell of a... This is out of control. I don't even know where to look. Absolutely. Oh, oh no. Are those Christmas ornaments? Yeah, that's... Uh... Those appear to be the glass ones. Oh, man. I, 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 this is, this is going to be very bad. I'm very nervous. I'm just going to put that oh, on there. No. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no! Kid Osborne able to reverse it in midair. Cover! Two count only. Big Scare came in there to break it up. I think Jimmy Lloyd in the midst of kicking out as well. Glass shards everywhere. 
courtesy of a Frankensteiner. Oh, what? It's Maria going to her doppelganger. what you're about. You, all right. 2018 is a year of eating ass. <laughs> and 2019 and 2020, all that. All the, all the ass eating years. Oh, oh great day. Through the chairs. Thank homage to the Dudleys. House finish. Well, you hear it, and now the thumbtacks. And that's a whole because lot of thumbtacks. this match be without thumbtacks? That's usually how I look after I eat a bunch of ass, too. Same look on my face, blood. It's weird. I do weird stuff. I'm learning so much about you here today. A lot of people are. I'm learning so much. This is a live broadcast, you see? And uh, we're about to see somebody get put through a whole lot of pain, because that's a lot of thumbtacks right there. And Katow. That time it worked. The low blow there on Jimmy Lloyd. To those thumbtacks. Oh man, to the back now. A big scare. It looks like he avoided the big patch of thumbtacks in the center of the ring. Yeah, big scare got awfully lucky. And now Mitch, oh no. Mitch just stalking Casey Catal. Casey, turn around. There's a crazy madman behind you. I don't know if you heard his promo. That man's insane. Yeah. Look at that tongue. Tongue work. part-time pin cushion. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, Big Scare just drove the pin cushion Casey Cattell through Brandon Kirk, through a door covered in barbed wire. What a heap. Oh, boy, where do you go? <laughs> what do you do now? Oh, oh, you get man. handcuffs. That's where you go. There we go. That's what you do. You get handcuffs. What the fuck? What is this? Oh no! What is going on? Hey, hey! If you don't have, if you don't have the bottle of lube, you gotta use spit. I heard My man problem. knows. I didn't, I didn't think he was serious. Yeah, get it ready. I'm get, I'm way too into this right now. Oh no! No, not Brandon. This. This went from bad to worse to worse to worse. This. My man got a drill though. Maria Manic. 
Absolutely. Just shoved him with. Oh, God. Turns him inside out. Oh, heavy forearm. Oh, Manic just chopping the hell out of Kid Osborne here. Manic stopping the way. I, I expected chaos out of this match, but this is far exceeded even my most wildest expectations. Yeah, if you'd said, hey, Kali, at some point during your night, you're going to see a drill dough in the gullet of Brandon Kirk. I'd have said, hell no. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh! Straight shot to the head there from Casey Cattell. Dazed is Sergeant Scare. Trash Chariot. Casey Cattell. I don't like the looks of this. This does not look good. Oh, no. Oh, what? Yikes. What? Through that structure of doors and beer cans goes the carcass of Big Scare Dan O'Hare. Well, let's take a detour real quick. As a uh, Allen. Now, that, that was a segue. Uh, Top rope. Kit Osborne. Oh, double stop to the chest. That was surprising to me. I thought he was going to go for that diving elbow. Roy <laughs> now. Oh, big 360 clothesline there. Yeah. Oh, to the old boss. attempt this entire match. It might have been one. I think I, there might have been one. Oh, my God. Look at Connor Claxton. Connor Claxton's a mess. Oh, oh God. That ain't going to help matters. Not at all. Connor Claxton is, is covered in, in blood in his face. Always impressed by the engineering of Jimmy Lewis. of this building uh, all night long. I remember uh, yeah. each and every show, no matter what, you would see you would see a few people in this building. I was one of them. Jimmy Lloyd is another one. Mm. He's seen the engineering take place during his formative years as a child when your brain is the most like a sponge. He, sponge. he knows He's how to build this. this. He's a natural. Brandon Kirk now wisely going to the top rope with this structure in the center of the ring. Oh my gosh. This does not look good. We got a double decker barbed wire door and chair contraption. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Through everything. Brandon Kirk has got to be broken. That's it. I don't, there's no way we see anything else from Brandon Kirk here tonight. Manic now. That's Osborne up. And thanks to our ringside commentary crew, Maria Manic is literally manic, distracted with a face full of thumbtacks. Fans, it doesn't matter if you were born with indoor or outdoor plumbing here in the... Whoa! 
Here in the combat zone, <laughs> your ass is going to be grabbed when Maria catches you, kid. These men and women compete at the highest level. Maria Manic absolutely manic, no pun intended, over her loss. I, 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 I'm almost speechless, fans. What we just watched, dildos and doors and wrenches and all kinds of craziness here in the combat zone. Fans, when you watch CZW Girls, you never know what you're going to expect. And here at Battle of the Sexes, you just saw one of the hardening matches of any gender. And I defy any other company to give you intergender action just like this. Because these young women, when they step in here, they don't care if they're fighting men, they fight. And Connor claps in there with the crimson mask, Casey Cattall next to him. Jimmy Lloyd just going ape shit in the ring. Fans, don't forget to check us out at czwrestling.com because this is just the beginning of what Combat Zone has to offer when we travel to your town. I'm excited to see what happens next here on CZW Girls. Standing with one fourth of the office, Kit Osborne. And Kit, I have to congratulate you. Huge win tonight here at Cage of Death. And not only a huge win for the office, but a huge win for yours truly because I saw you got the pinfall on Maria Man. That's right, I did. And what it really proves is everything I ever said about those guardrail crossers, Maria Manic, Mitch Vallon, Jimmy Lloyd, and Dan O'Hare. What we did was prove that this was just another day at the office. Thank you. Fans, thanks for joining us at CZW Girls Battle of the Sexes. We'll see you next time in the Combat Zone.